Welcome back. Let us see how to approach and solve the question number 20 in the Killer Shell exam simulation for certified Kubernetes application developer. Question number 20. So we have to connect to this uh, host. Um, CKD 7326. Let's connect to that. And the question says, in the namespace Venus, you'll find two deployments named API and frontend. Both deployments are exposed inside the cluster using services. Create a network policy named NP1, which restricts outgoing TCP connections from deployment frontend and allows and only allows those going to the deployment API. Make sure the network policy still allows uh, ongoing, sorry, outgoing traffic on UDP or TCP ports on 5340 NS resolution. So test using wget www.google.com and wget API at port 2022, 2222 uh, from uh, part of deployment uh, front end. So the focus uh, of this question is on uh, the network policies. And uh, it's uh, clearly saying we have to restrict the outgoing TCP connections uh, on the deployment. So specifically on the egress uh, network policy. So let's inspect uh, and test the connectivity between these parts see if we are able to connect uh, using these services from uh, the front end pod to uh, the api pod and the other way um, vice versa and also try and connect to the outside world by uh, trying to connect to the google.com and and see if we are able to reach the outside world as well from uh, one of these spots uh, and then uh, create a network policy called NP1 uh, and add those policies to restrict the output connectivity and just uh, make an exception for uh, the TCP and UDP ports on uh, port number 53 for the DNS resolution. Let's get started. So keep cuddle on the Venus. Um, okay, even before that, yeah. Keep cuddle on the Venus uh, namespace at all. So we have a couple of parts. Uh, we have the API part uh, and the front end parts, uh, which is controlled by the deployment uh, replica set. And we have um, two services uh, for them, uh, API and front end, right? So let's now connect, uh, test the connectivity between the parts. So I'm creating a temporary uh, a part To test the connectivity and I'm going to use a busy box image and first I'll try and uh, connect from the front end pod on port number 80. So there should be a space here. So we see uh, we are able to connect and we'll do the same thing. We'll do the same thing for the API on port number 2222. So it responded back with it works, which means we're able to connect from a temporary part to both the front end and the API service. Now, uh, from these ports again, uh, let's directly connect to the front end port uh, and see if we are able to establish an outbound connectivity. So, for which uh, we'll execute this kubectl from the Venus uh, namespace exec uh, front end. I'll randomly pick any one of this, I'm picking up the first one, the first part, and then issue a wget 
www.google.com <coughs> making the same mistake again so there should be space here uh, it's able to connect to the google.com it has successfully downloaded the content from the google.com which is an indication that we are able to I mean the outbound um, connection from the front end port is uh, not restricted we can connect now let's kind of do the same thing uh, but instead of uh, external world let's try and connect to the API service at 2222 and we are able to do so so this confirmed there is no network policy in place and uh, the connection or uh, connection is not restricted at all uh, now let's make use of our Kubernetes documentation to have a look at the network policy. And we have to focus on the egress uh, to work on to restrict outbound connectivity. Yep, so the, we'll, we'll focus on this bit. I'm going to copy the entire thing from here. Head back to our terminal. And we'll create a 20 underscore network policy dot YAML. All right. So they have clearly instructed that we have to um, name the network policy as NP1 and network policies are namespace to source so we have to give uh, the namespace pod selector uh, we still have to grab that bit uh, we'll keep that access for now um, so egress is two. We are not going to uh, do it based on the IP blocks. Uh, there are other. Uh, we can we can basically select it based on the um, labels and selectors, which we'll again refer back to the documentation and get that done. So um, yeah. So we'll remove this bit and copycat. Okay, even before copying that, we know for a fact that we have to allow the connections on port 53 for DNS resolution. Um, now we'll copy this. So we have to do this for both the TCP as well as uh, the UDP port, right? So for now, let's save this. Uh, let's not apply any changes. It's still half baked. So keep cuddle um, in the Venus namespace. Um, get all with the labels. So the API pods does have the ID as ID equals API, and the front end pod does have a unique label called ID equals front end. So these are the labels which we can use. Again, we'll go back to our documentation here for this network policies, and we can clearly see there's a pod selector um, thing over here which we can leverage for creating the rules as well. Um, so we are um, applying this network policy for the front end uh, pods. And let's copy this information, or copy this one from here. And from the two,
uh, we are not restricting anything based on the IP uh, let's paste what we have copied so we are going to use the port selector here as well and let's fix the indentation um, So from um, from the front end part, we should allow the connectivity only to the API part, allow egress uh, only to the ports uh, that matches this label. And here as well, we have to correct this. Uh, this has ID not role ID as front end. Another thing to remember is uh, so this is currently one rule we have to give like two rules so what happens is if you keep or execute or create this network policy access it has one rule which means it doesn't uh, it doesn't work as intended so we have to create two rules um, so just prefixing or making this as a, a separate uh, entity uh, will be able to uh, I mean this will be treated as a separate rule so this is the second egress rule so first and this is the first egress rule so for any uh, so this rule applies uh, to uh, all the parts that matches the label uh, front end and the egress connection is only allowed to any port that has or that matches this label of ID API. And ports, uh, we are applying it to TCP and UDP, UDP port as an exception on the port number 53. So, looks good for now. Let's write and save these changes. Let's create this uh, network policy. It's created, so kubectl get uh, network policy. So it should be netpol, short form. So it's created 11 seconds back. If you want to further describe uh, this network policy, you can do so by using describe. NP1. So not affecting the ingress traffic, allowing egress traffic uh, to port and to port this one. So looks looks okay to me. Now we have to test the connectivity again to see um, if it is uh, whatever the network policy we have created is working as intended. For which um, we'll do this exact. So I'll pick up any front end pod, pick up the first one, and we'll use wget connect to google.com. It's actually trying to resolve, uh, but we didn't get any response. So we'll add some additional um, timeout settings. So it timed out. Uh, it tried for three seconds and uh, it's not able to successfully establish a connection. So that works. Uh, we'll execute the same thing from the API any of the API port because the policy that we've created is only for uh, front end so that can that's working as intended um, let's let's do one more thing uh, now so we sh uh, should be able to connect to the APA uh, service 2222 port uh, this is uh, a 
good indication to check um, because we're trying to connect to the service uh, by using its service name, which in this case is API and on this port 2222. Uh, if our DNS resolution, the second rule for the DNS resolution, which we have enabled on the port number, both the TCP and UCP, UDP ports on 53 is working fine, we should be able to uh, connect. So the name resolution, the DNS resolution is, is working as intended. So this seems to be working now. So yeah, that concludes the question number 20 uh, in the CKD exam, uh, a Kalashal simulation. Once again, thanks for your time watching. If you have liked the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.